Tall timber buildings are exciting, but to shrink construction's carbon footprint we need to focus on the less sexy middle. Developer Thrive Construct recently announced the world's tallest steel timber hotel to be built at Victoria Square, Adelaide. Australia has caught on to the trend of building taller in timber, with other plans for three buildings 180 to 220 metres high submitted in Perth and Sydney. These would more than double the current world record for a timber building. Tall timber buildings, made entirely of mass timber, layers of wood bonded together, or steel timber and timber concrete hybrid construction, are gaining popularity worldwide. Every couple of months a year taller timber building seems to pop up somewhere. Timber is a sustainable, renewable material that stores carbon while in use, and the appeal of using it in skyscrapers is clear. Buildings like these are dominated by concrete, steel and brick, all of which are carbon or energy intensive materials. The middle is not sexy, and probably won't make the news, but it's where timber construction can have a significant sustainability impact. This means to build with timber if we can, use steel and concrete if we must. Noteworthy projects include the University of British Columbia's Brock Commons student accommodation, 53 metres high and made of mass timber and concrete. The tallest timber building until recently was the 85 metre high Jostarnet in Norway, made entirely of Celtic and Glulam. It lost its title to ascent, an 86 metre, 25 storey, timber concrete tower in the United States. Orecon's 25 King Street in Brisbane was Australia's first open plan office building, 52 metres high and made entirely of mass timber. Another interesting tallish timber building is Monterey Kangaroo Point Luxury Apartments in Brisbane. Australia is determined to go tall in timber. Better understanding of fire behaviour has driven a change in legislation, lifting height limits on timber buildings, and boosted developers' confidence to plan much taller buildings. Building tall in timber is an art, technically challenging, and exciting for engineers and architects alike. I know this since I researched the seismic design of connections in tall timber buildings for my PhD. It practically grows itself, stores carbon in durable wood products, can be cascaded into other timber products, and used as fertilizer for sustainable forests at the end of its life. In 2011, Forest and Wood Products Australia FWPA, reported on the opportunities and constraints of timber construction. Its report identified multi-residential, educational and office buildings as having the biggest potential for building with timber. Almost all of these buildings are still being constructed out of concrete and brick. FWPA's report identified the biggest problem as a lack of timber construction expertise. This is not surprising, since Australian universities offer hardly any timber courses. The University of Tasmania offers a graduate certificate in timber design for professional engineers. The University of Queensland is the only other Australian university offering a dedicated timber design course to structural engineering undergrads. In response to the construction industry's lack of timber knowledge, Wood Solutions, the educational branch of FWPA, has been running an entire mid-rise advisory program. We also need a shift of mentality to move past the idea that timber can only be used in detached single-family homes. Instead, we need to embrace well-built, mid-rise apartment buildings made from engineered timber. This material can safely use lower-grade wood and take the pressure off timber supplies. We have the tools and the knowledge to build high-performance timber buildings. Tall timber buildings are exciting, and we shouldn't stop dreaming tall, but we need to focus on the missing middle to make construction sustainable.